things have changed from the time that our parents were still in school where we had the Bandu education which is something that we've inherited from the South African government which we you know that, that, that took over Namibia for a long time where by Africans was the standard language that was spoken in a lot of schools in Namibia and the fact that they didn't even um, they did really didn't look at the needs of individual children and their capabilities it was just the standard education and it was really not really designed to look at the different angles that the average black child is going through to see maybe the, the needs of a child like how do you take a child that has zero uh, um, knowledge of Afrikaans for example they can only speak which is Tamaranama and you expect them to uh, um, do mathematics in Afrikaans for example language that they have never spoken so this this different layers of discrimination that you would even find in uh, the textbooks you know the information that they're sharing which is discriminative so it has as time went there have been changes and even till today you can still see a lot of um, how the impact of colonization has on the school uh, curriculum whereby you know private schools have a different kind of a system of what they are teaching uh, um, their learners where else public school you could see that you know a teacher could be teaching a large group of 40 uh, a class of 40 whereby some schools also don't even have a roof if you come to some communities and which is sad and the government is you know saying that they don't have a lot of money and next year the schools are gonna start and a lot of learners you know mothers and parents have been looking for create one permission for the school in different schools in here in Sokomon and everywhere else and a lot of school kids that are supposed to start grade one are not even getting schools that is a problem we need more schools we need more teachers we, you know we really need to look at education if we really want to tackle issues of violence if we tackle issues of inequality and unemployment in our country we really need to look at education as one of the key areas of how we could create change and if we as uh, um, activists as NGOs that are working in the field of um, creating opportunities for women for women's rights to be seen and respected we really need to join the education movement that's the only way that we can strengthen that to see how many girls are still in school how many girls are drop out of school and what are the issues that you know that come out for women to really drop out of school and what are the issues that young lesbians are maybe facing even in the education system why is it that so many lesbians are didn't get to finish their school what are some of the issues how did colonization had an impact on their lives how is racism and poverty still having an impact on their lives for them to drop out of school so if we as NGOs and as activists and as donors and as the government really find a, a different ways to support one another and as grassroots organization and support one another to put education as the, the core area that we really look at to create a change that we want to see in our society.